Hello everybody! Today we are doing Duke Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. It used to be, uh, it had a different name, I could swear it did. But now, that is not the case and now it has a different name entirely. So now we're doing this name. Uh, so now it is Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, not Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I think because they, uh, I don't know actually why. I guess we'll see. Uh, I felt like in keeping with the theme of spooky <laughs> games. <laughs> you see what it says, your game is running slow. Normal is FPS is 60, yours is 60. You Clearly, you I'm running right. Can you find what lies at the end? Or is there even an end? Because I, I don't really know. Anyway, just, just go. I think he's spooky. Now, I don't remember for sure, but I believe this is a randomly generated game. I've had this installed on my computer before, like I think Halloween-ish. I almost did this one, I don't know why I didn't for doing it now, because I started to do Ghostmaster this week, so now we're going to do this one. Uh, Trip to the Necrodancer is going to be our next one, and I'm going to be playing quite a few games of that game and learning it, I'm not going in blind on it. Uh, I actually tried to do a Let's Play of it earlier that went blind, and it was... It would not have been a very entertaining Let's Play, let's put it that way. Uh, it was pretty rough, so... I would rather not do that. Ooh, I like the purple walls here. Kinda neat. Purple rain, purple rain. I feel like Prince would like this area. You know there are monsters, too, in this, and... Again, jump scares and spooky things. So we're going to be looking for them. Yes, okay, now I remember that. So Princess Place just seemed cute. But I've been here for days now, feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I'm being left by something. This is not romantic at all. Uh, I wonder how many first dates go like that. Probably a few. Oh god, I didn't mean to pause the game. Do I, can I take this? Let's take, can I, no, I cannot take that, okay. Pretty bad, though. And this character ties the room together. And if you know what that is a reference to, what movie, put it in the comments below. Uh, ages ago we mailed one of you, by the way, one of our fans, some 3D glasses, but we haven't heard back from you guys if we got them or not, so let us know, please. Room 10. More purple. More purple. I feel like this game is already messing with me, because I feel like I literally just kind of went in a circle here. I do know there is indeed a room counter. One of these rooms has slime in it, it's a monster if I remember back in the day, but I don't know if it will now. Um, I also don't know why I got that weird ass warning about low FPS, even though I had decent FPS. Uh, I ran the Skyrim in Ultra, I ran Fallout 4 in Ultra, so I have no idea. You know, slowdowns. Now, people say, why don't you do those games? One is modding. Um, I prefer that my Nordic females be curvy, like real historical Nordic females were, and I don't think YouTube would appreciate that too much, so uh, I don't usually do them, and two, we, we have so far skated the, and I know eventually we're going to hit an age-restricted Let's Play, but I'm trying to put that off as long as possible. If we do a few of them, Depending on the companies who work with us and how we do this, I may start a second Let's Play list that's just Let's Play, not safe for work, that has those games. Uh, they still have to follow certain guidelines. Though. YouTube has a certain set of guidelines for Let's Plays that they are indeed, we'll say, of that caliber. They, they still cannot do certain things. You, you can't have the touchy-feely. Even if you have the naked peoples, basically is what it is. Naked peoples fine. If you tag if not safe for work, but 
or age restricted rather, but no touchy feelies, no acts of things. Anyways, back to this game, the one we were doing. This is a free game. There is a paid version. Uh, and I believe that is the why they had a name change is for the paid version. So now the pays paid version uh, is quite a bit bigger. If I remember hearing right, and even works in VR. I think I need to look it up for you guys. But for now, that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, and if the dev yells at me, then I apologize for not knowing. I know something is following me, but I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully, I'm giving notes to the background to prove I'm making things. <laughs> Progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I'm dreadfully thirsty. Okay, so walking away from the notes drops so That is good to know. E. Uh, mouse. Very smooth, very easy movement. Just mouse movement, and then just like E. Uh, I don't seem to have a jump yet. I don't have a weapon yet, and I would like a weapon. I feel like if I myself were going in a house where I think monsters were, I'd probably bring my club. I have a two-foot club in real life, an Indian Warhead club, and I'd probably bring that. Um, probably a vial of holy water. For any sort of weird BCs and uh, a little bit of food, some ration type thing, including some a uh, a uh, refillable container for water in case if you find some non-poisoned or decent water, even a wine, whatever. All right, now these hallways are starting to look the same. I'm not gonna lie. So, what do you guys think? Last time we went all the way this way, so let's do the middle door this time, be said. I definitely made a boo-boo there. I think I've gone the wrong way. However, you can't go back in this game. Uh, was it always like that? Because I could have swore at some point in one of the versions of this you could go backwards indoors. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just always been forward on oh geez you little shit forward only I do actually really dig this the the top of ghost thing gives it a really cool haunted house uh, feel see what I mean um, it's kind of neat I think because it does make it feel more like a haunted house that you can pay an admission to and go to and I am a sucker for haunted houses ink not quite crunching my thirst. Tastes terrible. Seems are terrible. I don't think drinking that, uh, drinking it was a very romantic idea. He, they seem to keep using the terms romantic idea for uh, a lot of things here. Jesus H. That spider actually got me. And he's such a happy spider, but you know he's happy? Because he scared the shit out of me. That's why he's happy. And in case you're wondering why I'm not wearing my normal bones mask, it's because every once in a while we gotta rotate these puppies and wash them, so... I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I woke today from a beef faint and found it for me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure I've been a year, but there is no label. Uh, all I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic, which means it is blood, guys. Um, blood tastes metallic. If you've ever been in a fight and you have had uh, to taste your own bud, I don't think that was wine. It was not wine. Or uh, I, I do want to note there that I love that the scribbles go all the way down the page, no matter the length of the note. I think that is kind of like good comedy. Whether that's intentional from the developer or just an afterthought, I think it's kind of funny. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of the pre of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere or someone is taking them. Um, but yes, generally uh, that is metallic. So, things to note here. This is a game about moving on and exploring rooms. And I heard a roaring of some sort. I certainly heard some noise. 
top one is my life meter, if I remember. The bottom, I actually don't remember what that is. Stamina, maybe? Not sure. Do I need to eat or drink in this game? I don't know. Frankly, um, I feel like we're doing pretty good. I believe the rumor is that there are 200 rooms in all. I don't know. Somebody else told me 500. I have heard all sorts of them. Left, right, or middle, what do you guys think? Let me go middle. Oh, this is a new area. Yes, we saved our game here. There is a sad face cat and a note. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape, but really that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. Uh, so they are a big ro romance person. So we're going to hit this. Clearly, we are on a note. Cross the save the game. Oh, and we are now deeper into the abyss of spookies. I'm just going to refer to it for now as spookies. I feel like that is good to do. Our first big door, guys. I think we're done with the cakewalk part. I think now, from here on out, there's going to be a little more action. Maybe a monster or two, maybe something else that's kind of creepy. Uh, it looks like one of those pictures where people are like, Do you see the monster? That's a Bigfoot. And they're like, That's not a Bigfoot, that's a bear. And there are people are like, No, that's a monster, I done seen it. You little shit. That one actually got me. That movie jump right there, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I think those are very effective. But what's really funny is you should really expect all of it, because it is called Spooky's Now Mansion of jump scares, but obviously the word there, the operative word is jump scares, so I don't know why I do not expect it around every corner. I think because it's impossible. I don't think human nature will let us be prepared 110% of the time for being scared. Or left or right? I am right-handed, so I'm gonna go right. I don't think that was the right choice, clearly, but we're gonna try it. What happens if I just try to sit on this chair and have a romantic relax? I like that they keep using the term romantic, by the way, to refer to good. Uh, I can only guess that it's a little tongue-in-cheek humor, maybe a romantically inclined person, or I don't know. I keep feeling like I need to explore more of this dark area than I'm doing, so we're gonna walk around here, and no, there's like nothing there, so... There we go. Now, it's kind of fun to play this one again, because so much has changed. I played this when it first hit, within the first month this hit. Um, and I've had this installed for a little while to do. If you are on my Steam list, you'll notice there are quite a few that don't make the cut for Let's Plays, and there are various reasons. I try not to do big AAA titles all the time, because everybody does them, and you already know about them. Easy little shit. Um, I feel like on our channel I try to do games that a little smaller, maybe not as well known. Now this thing here is definitely a monster. And I would like a weapon to kill it, but there is no weapon to kill it. Uh, I believe it is a monster anyway. Spouting, splashing, soaking, innards, and just invoking, nailing, never stops the choking. I feel like that's the sound. Oh god, there's something there. There is something there. There is something there. Get the hell out of there. So that just makes me slower. I'm not even looking behind me at this point. I just need to get the F out of here. Okay, so there's something that... They, they are not wrong. This thing does not stop. This went from cute to now all of a sudden... Kind of annoying. Um, but I don't want to play around and let this thing catch up. 
I might do Nosferatu to that game and playing as well sometime. If I had my way about it, a lot of this channel would be horror because I like horror games and I like uh, horror movies. Um, done recommendations for them in the past. We're just discussing uh, me and my daughter were uh, Evil Dead and In the Mouth of Madness yesterday and the whole Lovecraftian saga. So it is very fitting that a weird, almost Lovecraftian zombie-like creature should be in my way now. Also, are there tips to speed that up, guys? Am I doing something wrong here? Am I doing something too slow? How do I get away from Mouthman, guys? Help me out here. Uh, dude, I'm just barreling through this as best I can. I don't really know what else to do in this situation. I don't want to die. I feel like Mouthman is just out to kill me. So we are just... Shit. So, oh, Jesus. So we are just trying to get through this. Um, a weapon would be lovely. I actually don't think there are any weapons in this game whatsoever, though. But again, I'm not sure what the green is then. Why the green meter? What is that? What is the green meter? Can someone tell me in the comments, please? Explain the green meter. What the hell is that? The thing is, I can hear this thing behind me. Oh, right. I can sprint. Jesus, H, I forgot. Okay, so that's a green meter. That is what I forgot. This is what happens when you do not pay better attention to the game. You, forget. you can freaking sprint. You know, I looked at that, but I would look at any of this shit. Just barrel through it. Barrel the F through it all. Run, 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 run through everything. You have a weird demonic creature trying to eat your face. Just run, 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 run. Okay, here we go. Okay. I feel like that looks. Oh, what is this? What are you? I like that it has a heart attack. There he is. Fatalities. Physical tearing. Appeared very effective against weaker, slower subjects. So, in other words, call your ass. What is that? Adequately effective in average subjects. So, he's a little faster. Uh, I, I don't remember. Oh, that's not good. Is that not spooky? So. Um, yeah, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Mental issues or weak wills. Error. What is modify house layout? Error. I probably accidentally did modify the house layout. I did. Okay, okay, just get the hell out of there. Run, 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 run. Oh god, I do not like this hurt at all. Oh, Jesus, come on. Go, go. Am I making you proud, senpai? Shit, there it is. I know he's in here somewhere. Um, I haven't seen it in a while, but I don't also think I've lost it. I think it is there, and I think that when I get too cocky and think it is gone, it will return. Therefore, I'm, I'm like stuck right now. I'm treating all of this as one giant death sentence and not assuming it is gone. Or maybe modifying the house layout has trapped it somewhere, which is what I'm really hoping for. Um, all I know is I do not like having it around. I'm not even sure if it's gone entirely. 
but I'm not playing around. We're going to find out. I also feel like every so many levels, something new is going to be thrown at me. time with us with a weird ass mouth creature coming after me. And if it's not coming after me anymore, which I'm beginning to think that maybe it's not, I don't want to get too comfy. And just assume and then be wrong. Also the graphics just took a shift and changed and now everything looks slightly fuzzy and bizarre and I don't really care for that. Locked. First locked door this entire game. Oh god! What the fuck was that? It was such a surprise that there would be another entry, another actual entry, one I could admire. But it left as suddenly as it came, and you know this man. You influence and inspiration will never leave me. Get away from my face, please. Okay. Uh, am I just stuck in this one thing to repeat this? I feel like I am. Have I hit some weird never ending spiral? Way forward, no. Okay, good. It was very bizarre. Man, that one was fast, I will say that. Not as fade away as was the other one. The tearing the other one could probably could hurt me worse. But I do feel like this is one of those that, uh, and you can go ahead and make fun of me, I don't give a shit. I actually do feel a certain sense of regret right now. I oh, know it's that effing thing again. I genuinely do feel a weird sense of dread in this game, which is strange to say. Keep a little pep in your step and a smiling coffee cup. And that must have been the romantic writer himself. And now down we go. Pass for 100. And when we make it the whole way, we're going to try. I don't know how we'll do. Uh, notice that it's going to One thing I do like about Spooky is, is A, I think this is a really cool game to give away for free. So thank you to the dev, I do appreciate it. It's a fan of haunted houses. Oh, that is so bright. I feel like these must be like testers, maybe. YouTubers, I see YouTubers there. Maybe one day, maybe in an update, I'll get featured, I'll be honored. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive these ghosts or two, but these monsters keep getting faster and stranger. I don't like that, because that means that something else is coming. The pumpkin is kind of cute, definitely. But I'm a second for jack o so. In order to in order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. You must do everything the central protagonist would do. I hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets this instruction somehow. Uh, I like a little tongue in cheek humor there. Well, that's not a good sign. Nothing good comes from a room full of green slime, happens it? I liked the other rooms a little better. Like, these ones remind me of Doom a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I like haunted houses, and I love Halloween. I wish that there was a place in the world where it was autumn year-round. I would definitely enjoy living there. 
I like the smell of leaves. I like uh, the smell of cinnamon and like apple cider. Um, I don't know, I just feel like there's something in October in the air when it comes down to Halloween and spooky things that just makes it exciting. It's intangible, whatever it is, but I feel like it's there. Oh, you little eyes. Like, it's there, definitely. And I think that makes it interesting. Like I said before, I myself am a huge fan. So they do these creepy things. things. On one end, it's... And he's following me again. Anyway. Well, right here we go. And locked. Great. Great. I feel like these are like test subjects. Yup. I'm in a morgue of some sort. That is certainly blood. Probably mine. Ladies and gentlemen, we found the lab where they created Justin Bieber. So the tribe is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we needed funds for sedatives, but you just laughed and flew to the ceiling without more chemicals. We keep making these things docile. I'm not sure how much longer I, we can keep. Uh, we can keep them here safely. Gen generic lab assistant. Well, I agree, generic lab assistant. Card key picked up. That's the first item we have for this game now. Actually, we have our first item now. How do I use generic? Car key in a machine. Do I do anything with generic card key? Is there a place I can use this now? I feel like I can, and I feel like we should. I feel like I'm wrong. No, no. Just the way circuit drive is loose. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can feel a clicking coming from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now if it is out and alive, and this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. Generic lab assistance. So, in other words, a look up. It is definitely up there somewhere. And I'm not dumb enough to walk right into that. Um, I feel like they did a very good job with this game though, because I don't know how long I've been doing this, let's play now, but there's definitely something there. Like I said, I'm not coming up to oh shit, there it is. Okie doke. You know what's really weird? It's actually only two tarantulas in real life. Um, if you guys would like one of these days, well, maybe we will do a feature video on them. Um talk a bit about them, and so on and so forth. Uh, somebody told me I should do vlogs, but, um, let's be honest, we don't go to, like, tons of countries, we don't do huge visits in Paris, uh, you know, we don't got YouTube money, I like to call it. I see all these vlogs from these YouTubers who make, you know, 300k a year, doing YouTube, we're not there yet, so, I feel like if I ever get to that point, maybe we'll do vlogs, share some stuff with you guys, do some interesting things like that you guys would probably like, I feel like for now, there's not a lot about that that you guys would probably like. I'm actually not going to redo the program there, and the reason is because I feel like Modify House does modify the house, even though it's sits there. I feel like it helps get monsters away from you when, when you type that. I don't know for sure though. One problem is the rooms do tend to look alike here and there. But if I'm correct and these are all randomly generated, then that makes sense because you're using an asset pack to generate your rooms. And uh, most of you will know what I'm talking about by now, but for those of you that don't, every program has textures, blah blah blah, sound files, blah blah blah, etc, etc. And you only have so many you can use. Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes, hi. 
You know, the only reason I don't follow that whole thing too is because I really you you and that good is just pretty much done to slow you down or mess with you. Um, and just see how long you will sit down here and somebody say hello. But you'd be shocked. I still haven't died, so it appears I might be the protagonist, I'm not entirely sure. I hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition. Also, I found a strange computer that gave descriptions of the monsters and seems like they are called effective based on how pe many people they kill. Yeah, not at all exposition, is it? I do like that little thing, because it sounds like some sort of like Zelda. Thing. You'll probably hear or uh, see dog ears pop up there if you do. Um, I'm gonna give it one last little Spartan try here and see how we do. I honestly don't know. I feel like we're getting to the point where the pressure should be picking up or monsters should be getting thrown at me. I don't know if that is true or not. And I feel like I have already been here. Is this game actually a cruel joke that has no end? It is uh, making me wonder if this is all metaphorical. I don't know. would be an interesting thing if this game just literally kept on going on forever at some points. Uh, it's so it's like I kill somehow and I'm so I haven't strong what I feel like. The inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonists will look like. I hope they're cute. So in other words, we're almost to the end of the game. Or not much further from it. The dog seems impressed by this. Are you impressed by this? I do. Are you impressed by this? Have you seen them in other videos? I think one or two. Have you been in more than one video? I feel like you have. So just keep pushing ahead. Very, very two noises rooms to make when you first pass here when it's remember. Okay, so we started with that one that was wrong. That is wrong. That is wrong. We're going to try left first.
Head guys for a two. I guess you comes forward. left that was not right, when I did right that was not right, but then when I did uh, forward a third time that was not right either. Okay, so three forwards, now left, and here we are guys, maybe this is it. dog down there. What do you think? Which way do we go, pup? To the right! To the right! The dog is not very impressed. He's basically, uh, he's tired. Plus he hasn't been killing very two days. He's got a shit on his back right now. Now the part I was dreading, all the monsters are close. Oh, high school. Notice me, senpai. It's only kidding, but really? Okay. Is there anything? Whoa, that was. Whoa, that's weird. Don't care for that much. Let's get the F out of here, please. I do not like that. Can I go in these lockers or anything? No. That was bizarre. Oh, shit. No, 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 okay. It just spooks herself. I am now up to spooky. We are at level spooky, people. We are at level spooky. We have found spooky. And she is very pissed off. Uh, I feel like we have learned some things about spooky along the way. Spooky seems to have been a school child. Clearly. Lives in a nice mansion, likes to slaughter people and murder them, and father faces off. You know, your usual hobbies. Probably some macrame. Um, maybe macaroni art, I don't know. I need to keep a better track of my stamina here. Open the brakes too much here. Run like an M effort. Careful, pup. Careful. Careful, pup. Careful. The dog is losing a shit here. Okay. Oh god. No spooks. You you get away. You go. Probably supposed to read that note, but right now I'm just trying to get away so I can generate a little help. Get to the friggin' end. We did not claw our way this far to lose to this damn ghost. We will not quit. We do not. Oh my god. That was crazy. Well, that is our let's play of uh, Spookies. So, I will leave the link below if you like it. Make sure you check it out. I am Bones. Uh, we have 
the famous dog. If I can pick him up for y'all here. Little boy right here. He's a sweet little dog. He is. Nuts. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. And tell your friends about us. And uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching.